Hey guys, how's it going? Chess back again with another episode of FIFA 15 Demoing. We're looking at Liverpool today playing against Napoli. As you can see, I've selected a 4-3-3 lineup, which isn't the default one for uh, Liverpool on the demo. We've got Sterling wide right with Adam Lallana on the left-hand side with Daniel Sturridge through the middle. Coutinho sat just behind Sturridge with Henderson and Gerrard holding with uh, then Jose Enrique, Daniel Aga, Dejan Lovren and Glenn Johnson at right back with Mignolet in goal. So we'll jump into the game. Hopefully we can uh, put together some sort of decent moves in this one. We uh, I've been doing okay recently with uh, this series. You guys have been showing it some good support. So if you are enjoying it and you're looking forward to uh, the full FIFA 15 release later on the uh, in the next couple of weeks, then feel free to hit that like button on this video. And of course, let me know in the comment section down below which one of Manchester City, Boca Juniors and Barcelona you would like to see tomorrow. We only have three... Uh, not tomorrow... Wednesday. We only have three teams left to do now in this uh, in this little mini-series and uh, you'll be able to tell from uh, from the schedule which is in the description when the next episode will come to you. Of course earlier on today there was an episode of the potential stars for the FIFA 15 career mode so check that out if you missed it and of course over the weekend there were a couple of episodes of this series and of course my player as well which will be returning again tomorrow as per usual but Anfield is rocking whenever Liverpool play on this demo and hopefully uh, you'll be able to hear some of that at least throughout the uh, the entirety of this video. They really have nailed down the uh, "you'll never walk alone" stuff for uh, for the audio for the go uh, the uh, crowd. I'm really looking forward to seeing how it sounds at Stamford Bridge when we get going with the Chelsea career mode on FIFA 15 because hopefully they've captured it as well as they have done with this and Felipe Coutinho actually I'll try and drill that across if I can. Oh, and he almost got there. Tried to throw himself at it. Can Enrique get there? No, he can't. Oh, Adam Lallana almost putting us 1-0 up there. Tried absolutely everything to get on the end of that. This is going to drop to Coutinho. Now, I might try a roulette to get around the man, and then we'll have a shot well blocked by the defender. It's going to go out for a throw. And, of course, this is, as you probably tell by now, a live commentary. That's what we've done for the entirety of uh, this little mini-series. So if you are enjoying, then, of course, feel free to leave me a uh, comment. Let me know where you think I can improve in the comments, and where you think, uh, you know, this series is at its, you know, what parts of this series you like most. I guess I kind of fucked up when I was trying to describe that, but Jordan Henderson with a shot just over the top of the bar. Goalkeeper with a late dive, but uh, didn't need to actually put anything on it. Good strike from Jordan Henderson, perhaps just a little bit too oh, too much elevation on it. Only a foot or so over the bar. It's the closest we've come in these opening ten minutes. We'll try and create as many opportunities as possible, of course. Uh, I'm still getting to grips with the demo, as I've probably said in every single one of these videos so far. Uh, it's not as smooth as the beta was, so I'm looking forward to uh, the full release and actually getting my hands on a copy that runs smoothly and properly. We're trying to throw through Daniel Sturridge here, who is extremely fast. It can't quite get there to beat uh, Raphael, the goalkeeper. Perhaps should have looked at Raheem Sterling there, because he's just as quick, if not faster. EA have announced their 20 fastest players for FIFA 15. And Raheem Sterling's up there in the top 20 with 93 pace on his ultimate team card. Absolutely electric. We'll try and block off Inler here. And Daniel Agger's done very well indeed. I think, judging by this and the beta, that... Rather, oh, ref, he's absolutely murdered me there. I think strength is going to be extremely important this year. Obviously, pace is important and always will be. But strength plays a bigger... Um, you know, a bigger role in uh, this particular build and uh, it did the same in the beta, so you presume it will do it in the full game as well. Hamsit picking up a booking for that tackle, rather unsurprisingly. We'll try, actually, we'll try and slot that into Daniel Stowe. We'll play a nice one-two here if we can. No, Studge has been knocked off the ball and uh, the referee didn't give anything. I was trying to play a one-two there. Maybe Jordan Henderson can get in. No. Where's Hamsit going? I don't want to let Lovren get too far out of position because he doesn't have the pace to catch up. Not too much going on the opening 25 minutes of this, though. I'll perhaps quieten down a little bit so you can hear the crowd if they do start uh, singing You'll Never Walk Alone because I really want you guys to hear that. They will definitely do it at the end of the game. That's been the pattern so far with this demo. So whenever that happens, I will shut up so you can hear it. But we'll play Stevie G over the top. Gerard not quite as fast as he used to be. And the ball's gone straight to Raphael. Here's Stevie G. Play the ball back to Coutinho. Traps play and try and playing Sturridge with a finesse. Oh, it's come back off the bar. That was a great effort. Adam Lallana can't get on the rebound. I thought that was just going to float over the top and it dipped at the last minute. Comes back off the woodwork. That is the closest we've come to a goal so far. Can we have another chance here? No, Lallana's been tackled, unfortunately. May bring Markovic on 
in uh, the latter stages of this game to, uh, to try and get some extra pace out wide on that left-hand side. Although Adam Lalana's car does look quite nice for Ultimate Team this year. But whether he will have that a similar effect to the one he had at Southampton this year on uh, career mode with Liverpool or even in real life with Liverpool. Ref, he's really just hauled me to the ground there. We can take this quickly, which it's not going to let me to do. Let, it's not going to let me do. He's going to try and play in Sterling down this right-hand side. Haven't really seen him light up that electric pace yet. Perhaps we can do here. No, he's tugging at my shirt. They have added in the, uh, the shirt tugging animation. Jordan Henderson can have another crack here and he's hit it on target. No, it's just wide again. He's had a shot that's gone a foot over and now he's had a shot that's gone just under a foot wide. So you can see complete dominance so far with this Liverpool side. Actually kept possession better in this 4-3-3 formation than I have been in any of the other games that I've played so far on the demo. So perhaps this could be my formation of choice for when the full, uh, when the full game comes out. I have to wait and see. Obviously, uh, Chelsea, oh, that's a good ball. We'll bring Mignolet out, actually. I'm going to have to win this header, and we have done. Yeah, we'll have to wait and see how I can line up my Chelsea side in the full release. That shot's going to go well over, because, uh, of course, uh, Chelsea default to a 4-2-3-1, which is what I tend to default to myself. But if this 4-3-3 is actually going to become a decent formation, I may use this a little bit more when we get the Chelsea career mode up and running. And of course that will be post comms but the My Player series, as it was on FIFA 14, will be live comms as this is now. Although, of course, it will be uh, more highlights than full game coverage. I'm going to get on the end of this with Lalana, no, but we might be able to nick it away from Raul Albiol. In fact, we can't. Let's go clear it from him. Skirtle's going to have to, as not as Agger, going to have to challenge there. Get the ball up to Coutinho. Skirtle's not on the pitch, don't know why I mentioned him there. Player 1-2, perhaps. Ask him to make the run, Sterling, and he has eventually decided to do so. Great ball inside the defender. We'll try and stand it up. Oh, he's just taken it too far towards the line. Perhaps far too fast for his own good there, Raheem Sterling. Just ran out of grass. Going to make that change. Adam Lana coming off for Lazar Markovic. Hopefully he can add an injection of pace. I've swapped Sterling to the left and now put uh, Markovic on the right. So we'll have to see if Sterling can have even more of an impact on the, uh, the right-hand side as he had or as he has had on the left so far. We'll actually try and use him here. Get the ball into Daniel Sturridge, who might get the shot off, has done, but that is a terrible shot. Should be getting that on target, Daniel Sturridge. Clear opportunity there. All he had to do was get that into the on target towards that bottom corner, and that was going to be 1-0. Disappointed with that finish. Shooting is more difficult this year, or at least that's uh, what I've experienced myself that through uh, playing this demo and the beta. It is more difficult and harder to be accurate than, uh, than FIFA 14. Whether you guys have had similar experiences, I'm not sure. You'll have to let me know in the comments section whether that is the case for you or not. But I have seen a couple of people on Twitter and in other you know, FIFA 15 demo videos on YouTube, people saying that they are not necessarily struggling, but finding that it is more difficult to shoot on FIFA 15 than it was more uh, more so on FIFA 14. We'll stand that up. Was that a Rabona cross? I'm not sure whether it was, but Markovic has pounced. I need a ball to someone in space on the edge of the box, which I don't have. So I'm going to go all the way over there to Glenn Johnson. I will try a typical Glenn Johnson thing. Step over, come inside, and Markovic runs into me. So actually, I'll fire this in here to Coutinho. Where's Sterling? He's too far out wide. Coutinho, good turn. We'll get the shot away. It's on target. And it's into the back of the net. Liverpool take a 1-0 lead here against Napoli. That was great strength, actually, from the little man, Philippe Coutinho, to hold off the attentions of the defender there. Not too sure who it was there, number 11. That's a great finish. Curling away from the goalkeeper. Really pleased with that. Philippe Coutinho gives Liverpool a 1-0 lead. So we've ended 1-0 there. I left the uh, the highlight running just uh, a little bit previously so you could hear the crowd singing You'll Never Walk Alone. They've really captured that fantastically. Looking forward to see what else uh, you know they've been able to capture from IRL games, etc. over the past couple of seasons to really you know heighten the atmosphere in the ground when you're playing career mode and maybe even online as well in specific grounds. But uh, the crowd sound fantastic with You'll Never Walk Alone. We'll have to wait and see what other team-specific songs are in there. But that's going to bring this one to a close, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed. Thank you very much for watching. We'll have another one of these on Wednesday night. But uh, until then, 
I will see you next time.